Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Playbook from Research in Motion. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the interface of the BlackBerry Playbook. Now, the BlackBerry Playbook uses an interface that's very similar in some ways to other tablets and very different in other ways. Now, the Playbook uses an operating system from QNX, which RIM actually brought into house. Now, it's slightly different from Android and it's slightly different from iPad, although it is very similar in some ways. So the first thing you notice about the BlackBerry Playbook is it doesn't actually have any buttons with which you interact with the display. Everything is done using the screen itself. So instead of pressing dedicated buttons, for example, Home or Settings or Back, you'll actually interact with it by swiping your finger from the bezel instead. So instead of interacting with it by pressing dedicated buttons, for example, Home or Back or Settings, you'll actually swipe your finger from the bezel into the screen. Swiping your finger from the bottom bezel up into the screen brings up the multitasking menu, which actually shows you the apps that are currently running, and it allows you to look at the apps that you can actually launch. If you want to look at settings and options, swipe your finger down from the top bezel onto the screen. If you're on the main BlackBerry menu, it'll bring up settings for the BlackBerry itself. If you're inside an app, it'll bring up settings for that particular app. Swiping your finger in from the left or right bezel into the screen will actually help you switch applications. So if you're in an application and you swipe over from the left bezel, it'll actually take you over to the application on the right. If you swipe the other way, it'll take you in the other direction. Of course, switching apps this way will force you to have to keep track of where the apps are in a bit of a stack, so it may not be as easy. It may be easier just to swipe up from the bottom and engage the multitasking menu and then just swipe across to see what you get. Now, when you're inside an application, you interact with it in much the same way as you do on other tablets. You can take your finger and put it on the screen to interact with it. You can use two-finger gesturing or use multi-touch gestures like pinch and zoom. If you have an item that's larger than the screen, you can generally move it around by putting your finger down and then moving it around. Now, when you have multiple applications running, you may want to occasionally close some, otherwise they'll use up some of your battery and your CPU cycles. To do that, swipe up from the bottom bezel, and you'll see a list of the apps that are running on the top half of the screen. Once you center up one of the apps, you'll notice underneath it actually has a little X on the name of the application. Just tap on the X, and it'll actually close the application. At the very top of the screen, you see other information and controls. First of all, you see the date and the time in the middle of the screen. At the top right, you see an indicator of how much battery you have left. You see whether Wi-Fi is on or off, and you also have the ability to see your Bluetooth. There's also an orientation lock, and when you switch it on and pick up the playbook, when you tilt the playbook back and forth, it won't actually change the orientation of the screen. Also, other app-specific icons will appear in this top bar. Now, of course, looking at the playbook hardware itself, you'll see that there's no physical keyboard, which is not unusual for a tablet, so you have to use a software keyboard on the screen itself. Now, while the software keyboard on the playbook isn't as good as the one you'll see on Android and the iPad, you can actually use it in much the same way. All the keys will appear on screen, and you can suppose other keys that don't appear on the keyboard as you see it here by tapping on the 123 SIM button. When you go into this mode, there's a key there that has two dots on it. Tap on that to expose even more key options. Now, the few buttons that you'll actually see on the outside of the playbook are player control related. So you have a play pause button right in the center of the top of the display, and you also have volume up and volume down. So when you want to adjust the volume, you'll press those buttons down. Well, that's a look at the interface on the BlackBerry Playbook. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways of interacting with your playbook. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.